What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new tutorial or guide series actually. So this tutorial will be about Suckless tools, DWM and a custom based Arch Distro made by myself. I've called it Fios. So it's actually just the core Arch Linux, then everything has been configured by myself. And I think it looks pretty cool and it has some cool features. So. Uh, this will be a brief introduction about how to use this and what are the keybinds, uh, etc. And let's start actually. So this is the initial look uh, of this Arch Linux based distro called Fios. It has a top bar. So this top bar includes a Bitcoin price, Ethereum price, uh, weather, sound, uh, clock and Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Uh, it also includes battery and screen brightness actions too. However, now I'm on my desktop computer, so therefore it won't be shown if there is no battery or brightness options. So to open up a terminal, you need to press caps lock enter or windows enter. Caps lock is bind to windows by default, so there is no normal caps lock behavior in here, in this arch based distro. So let me show you some of its features. So if I hit caps lock Q, it closes the window. If I hit caps lock enter, it opens a terminal, which is simple terminal, again by Suckless. And this terminal actually has some pretty good features. So let me show it to you now. So let me open a simple C++ file here. Let's open a problem from, I don't know. Yes, this is cool actually. So this is the property of this terminal, simple terminal, it actually has embedded three fonts in it. So now this font is called uh, Terminus. If I just want to change this font now, I just need to press Alt and Comma. It will automatically change my font to Consolas. If I hit Alt and Comma again, I'm sorry, I think this is JetBrains Mononerd. If I hit Alt and Comma again, it will automatically change to other font. If I hit it again, it will change it again. So you can put any fonts you want. I just prefer these. You can configure my simple terminal build and you can put any fonts in it, whatever you want. If I hit caps lock Q again, it will automatically log out, uh, I'm sorry, quit my window. And if I hit caps lock at F11, it will automatically open my camera here. And this camera is totally draggable and you can assign it anywhere you want so you don't need to set up a prefix for this so let's continue if I hit caps lock and W it will automatically open brave and uh, if you ever use DWM uh, normally DWM doesn't support program icons however when I'm in brave it will automatically put a cool and nice brave logo here it will do this for uh, any programs so for example I need to I want to switch to desktop 9. Uh, by the way, this has 9 desktops by default. To switch up des desktops, you need to press caps lock or super 1, 3, 2, 9. And for example, I've opened my camera here, but uh, this camera is now can only be seen uh, tag number 2. However, if you want uh, some window to be seen uh, on all of your tags, you need to focus that window, just hover your mouse on it, and if you hit caps lock or super windows as it will automatically be a sticky window so now I'm in first tag you can still see me you can see me in any tag as you can see from below so let's continue as you can see uh, since I'm focused on webcam now it has the webcam icon uh, it automatically supports any icon if the program supports it so for example I want to open whatsapp here it will automatically open a whatsapp logo at the top of it it also goes for Telegram and etc too. Uh, this terminal build actually has some dot .files, some Z shell configuration, configurations. As you can see now, uh, in the top, it calls this window name ST. However, if I change a directory here, so for example, I change my directory to desktop, it will automatically say desktop here. So you can say, why do I need to use this? Use this, so, or why do I need this? Uh, it's actually, yeah, pretty simple and this patch is written by myself. Uh, normally DWM or other window managers doesn't support alt tab functionality. So what I'm meaning by alt tab is, so for example, 
Uh, let me open the, uh, yes, Brave is open here. For example, I'm writing some code here, etc. So for example, I'm just hitting an ls command here. It also supports icons too, with color ls. And I want to switch to Brave, but I forgot uh, where Brave is, or for example, I want to switch to WhatsApp, anything. But I forgot where it is. If I hit Alt tab, it will automatically list all the windows open uh, in my current uh, session. So for example, you can see Brave browser open here, but this is not my Brave browser. It should be a new tab and it has a webcam Brave browser and ST. So if I just double click Brave browser here, it will automatically send me to Brave browser and it will warp my pointer to center of my client. So why is this important, this warp pointing stuff? For example, let's assume that I have some uh, programs open here. So let me open a uh, LF run here. Let me open a new terminal here. Uh, as well as what can I open? Uh, let me open Vim here again. Uh, for example, I am in uh, this desktop, this file manager. I hit Alt tab and I want to switch to uh, Vim. If I hit caps lock and one or super one, whichever you want, it also supports that too. If I hit caps lock and one, it will automatically warp my pointer to the designated window. So this is actually pretty useful uh, because otherwise you need to, for example, if you use two two monitors, which I'm using, I always need to uh, hover my hover my pointer to the other window, and I think it can be a little bit of problematic sometimes. Uh, also, why is this alt tab functionality good? So for example, uh, you can have uh, nine different layouts here. As you can see, there is a small icon, a uh, parenthesis here, square brackets here. This actually implies the current layout of this desktop manager. For example, let me open some new stuff here, my voice controller, and let's just open a C++ file here and let's load it with some stuff. If I just go to this icon and if I hit right click, it will automatically show me all of the different layout options. So this is the tiled layout now. You can switch to any layout from here as you want. So for example, this is the monocle layout. All windows are stacked on top of each other. Uh, you can uh, try this layout uh, however you want. Also, all of these windows are dynamic. So, for example, if I hit super and H or L here, it will automatically resize all of my windows. Also, this uh, layout switching thing also works with Alt and uh, number keys too. For example, if I hit Alt 1, it will automatically go to tiled layout. If I hit Alt 2, it will switch to tiled layout. So on and so forth. You can use any layout you want from here. And all of the layouts are uh, resizable with the H and L keys, as well as you can uh, change between windows without a mouse, you can just use J and K here to switch between windows if you want. So for example, uh, what's more to it? Uh, as you can see, this bar here actually supports clicking too. Uh, if I just click the Bitcoin sign here, it will automatically op open Cointop, uh, which is a terminal uh, cryptocurrency, like kind of Binance, I don't know. You can uh, start any uh, Bitcoins or any crypto coins you want here. Just hit them with an F. And if you hit, uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, you can look at the configurations from this site. If you hit Shift F here, it will automatically list the coins uh, you have in start. You can as well as close this with caps lock queue again. It also supports some uh, monitoring tools too. So what I'm meaning by monitoring tools is this stuff actually. Uh, this is called GoTop. Uh, it lists all of my CPU and it lists the process processors uh, usage as like a simple window here. You can move between these with J and K. As well as it shows the memory usage. If you want to monitor your NVIDIA GPU, you can hit, hit caps lock uh, shift and P, however, it's not opening actually. Uh, let me open and we tap here. As you can see, uh, it lists my GPU and I can just look uh, how much GPU I am using from here. Uh, you might have noticed if a window is not focused and if it's a terminal, 
it just increases the alpha of it, so it becomes more transparent. I think this is a pretty cool feature, supported by Pico. All of this will be pre-installed if you are using my ISO, Fios ISO, and you can install Arch Linux if you are not using Linux very well, with Calamaris installer with just six or seven slides. You don't need to write any code actually, it will just automatically install beneath your uh, Windows OS if you want to do boot. I'm using do boot too, actually. Uh, also, uh, it supports a kind of cool notification. So for example, uh, my voice is now at 70% and if I hit voice buttons now, as you can see, it will automatically pop up a cool window here with the voice signs in it. Uh, as well as if you mute it too, it will show a muted icon. If you press it again, it will automatically unmute itself. Uh, for example, if you just hit right click here, it will show the today's date uh, with the current date time format, whichever you want. And if you want to, if you have Wi-Fi options, if you just click here, it will open the Network Manager Tui and you can activate any connection you want. There's nothing here now because I'm using an Ethernet cable. I don't have support for uh, support for uh, wireless in my computer now, in my desktop computer. Uh, if you want, you can hide this uh, bar too. If you just go and middle click with your mouse here, it will automatically hide that bar. And if you press it again, it will automatically re enable that bar. Uh, as well as you can do this with caps lock V2, it will automatically hide the bar as you want. So what's more to it? Uh, actually, this is pretty much it. I think it's pretty cool looking. So for example, let me open a few cool programs here. S2E2. And I can switch between them as well as I want. And it will automatically uh, transfer the non-active windows, all of them are supported with alt-tab functionality. So for example, it writes the window name here. If I just want to go to Pulse Mixer, I can just go on and double click it. It will automatically send me to that window. So uh, actually there is pretty much shortcuts. If you are curious about it and if you have been installed it, you can look at my GitHub docs. I've listed all of the uh, pre-configured uh, .files and instructions there. So if you want to use my build, you can do it different ways. I'm currently supporting for Arch Linux only. Uh, you can append my repo. You can find all the configurations and instructions in my GitHub account. Or uh, I'll soon create an ISO. Uh, you can just put the ISO with a flash drive and you can install it with Calamares pretty easy. So Calamares is actually an installer for uh, any Linux system. It will automatically install Arch Linux besides your Windows if you are using, so you can feel free to try it. Uh, there's not much complications and I think it's pretty easy to use. So for example, oops, I'm sorry, I've closed my camera. So for example, uh, let's say that I want to check the weather. If you hit the weather icon, it will automatically open a cool terminal pop-up here and you can check the weathers for, uh, I think, three days from now. So these are the most common features of it. Uh, if you are if you are having struggle using uh, this build of computer, this build of DWM window manager, feel free to ask anything in comments. I'll try to help as much as possible. If you have trouble installation, you can write it again. I'll try to help as much as possible. Also, it supports a scratchpad too. Uh, what's a scratchpad? Uh, so scratchpad is actually, for example, uh, I am solving a problem here, a C++ problem, or I don't know. And uh, this problem states that I need to uh, divide some numbers, some, 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 some numbers, or for example, I need to calculate a diameter of a circle, etc. stuff like that. If you press uh, caps lock, super, shift and enter, it will automatically open a scratch pad at the center of your window. And for example, I've imported Python here, and let's include math. And so for example, Let's make some operations here. And for example, I need to use this in my uh, other window. If I hit caps lock shift and enter again, it will automatically hide that window. And I when I press it again too, it will automatically be restored. To be to quit your scratch pad, just press caps lock Q and it will automatically quit your scratch pad. 
so these are the common configurations of this OS. Uh, all of them are clickable, by the way. You can uh, go around between text by clicking. Uh, also, it has been it has been supporting uh, mouse wheel scroll too. So if you hold a Windows key and scroll with your mouse, it will automatically change between text. Uh, you can also send Windows to other text too. To send Windows to another text, press caps lock and shift and uh, send designated tag number. So for example, this is now on tag 3, uh, this sound controller. Now I've sent it to desktop 1. You can move anything as you want accordingly. If you are using uh, double monitors, you can send between monitors by dragging like this. However, there's no screencast in my second window now. Or uh, you can just hit Alt-H and Alt-L to switch between uh, send windows between monitors. And if you hit Alt-J and K, it will automatically warp your pointer to the designated monitor. It will warp your pointer to the designated monitor, yes. So these are the basics of this uh, Linux OS. I think it's looking pretty well. And I think it's looking much better than most of the desktop environments out there. I have uh, really suffered to be able to make this. So I am pretty happy with it. If you have any questions or if you have any troubles installing, feel free to ask in the comments. So take care, guys. See you in the next video.